guys what up welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Alif and in this tutorial video I'll be teaching you guys how to do the warp transition effect with Vegas Pro 17 now you can only achieve this effect with the Vegas Pro 17 because the uh, Vegas Pro 17 now have a warp flow uh, transition effect where you can use to uh, make a uh, to higher jump cut in your video but you can use this effect as a transition as well Right. so anyway before I start with the editing tutorial um, you have to make sure that your video here um, shot on a tripod or um, it's in a static shot so in this case I have a two video clip here it's the same video it's just I cut it in, in the middle because the first video here the first part is basically a video of me eating a cheesecake and then the second one here is a um, um, video clip of my friend vaping so you can see the laptop, the wall, everything are stationary except the person is different. So all you have to do now is just make a cross fade in between. Just simply drag one of the video, merge them together. And I found this transition work the best around 15 to 8 frames. So I'm just going to try 8 frame for now. Okay. So you can see some cross fade there. And the next step, you go to the transition step folder, go to all, scroll down to you see your warp flow effect. This is the effect that I'm talking about. It's only available on the Vegas Pro 17. Simply drag and drop it into the transitions uh, in between of the video. So when you play, you should be able to see the effect take place. Now do keep in mind this warp flow do take a bit of computing power. So it might uh, lag a bit when you try to play back. Okay, so but you can see we already have three transitions. So if you want to sell off this effect a, a, a bit more, since this video here was shot in static, you can make uh, create a fake camera pen. So all you have to do is uh, we're gonna use the uh, timeline uh, motion track here, which is this one here. You click this, um, and then you go to the very first keyframe. Make sure you enable scene cursor so that you can see that our play hit on the timeline sync with the uh, play hit in the track motion and you want to basically zoom in a bit not too much unless you're shooting in 4k you have the ability to zoom in as much uh, you want it to be until 1080p but this video is only 1080p so I'm just going to zoom in just a slightly bit and then I'm just going to offset my first keyframe to the uh, to the left until we don't see the pillar bar there and once you've done that you go to the very end of the keyframe I mean end of the video um, and then you just move the uh, track motion here to the neck to the right of the video okay maybe until we see the pillar bar that's fine and just reposition the keyframe till it sits directly at the end of the video so if we play from the start you can see some fake camera pan and transitions the warp transitions in the middle so that's how you do the warp or what you call morph transitions with Vegas Pro 17 so if you like this video please um, hit the like button and also subscribe to my youtube channel for more Vegas Pro tutorial see you guys next time